<laughs> Hi everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and in today's video, which has been made possible by my good good friends at Crackshot and Newton Abbott we're looking at this gun, which is a Kral or Kral Puncher Breaker It's a ballpup, it's in 177 and for £350 you will get this exact gun that I'm going to demonstrate for you in this video a fill probe, two of the 14 shot magazines that one of them can be stored in there in the front and a hard case a few people w were asking could I review some more affordable guns for the channel so this these two these twin videos one is also going to be about a hat sand is answering that exact question this is a really good gun I'm not going to try and pretend to you that it's capable of a clover leaf at 65 meters because it, at least for me, it's not. But it is extremely accurate, and I think I've got the data to prove that to you. At 30 and 40 meters, I'm really happy with the results, and I will show you these at the end of the video. But I just want to talk a little bit about the gun, the things that I like, the things that I don't like and then you can be better informed if you're looking to make uh, a purchase on, on this exact gun. So I think the first thing just to tell you is the gun does have some signs of use. You can see there around the magazine area, there are some scratches. Obviously, I don't know who owned this gun previously to it coming into crack shot, but it does have some signs of use. Um, not Nothing crazy, nothing major, nothing that impacts and is detrimental to the actual functionality of the gun but you can see that it isn't in mint condition unlike some of the guns that I've reviewed from there recently. In terms of its functionality it um, is what you would sort of expect really it has the uh, side lever cocking arm that you would pull back click forward and I'm just going to dry fire it now. A little bit of noise and I could actually if I'm being completely honest with you, I can feel a little bit of um, resistance. The gun sort of does judder a little bit. Not exactly like a Springer, but it's not completely um, still when you fire it. It might be different if there's a magazine in there, but that might be something you want to think about. In the demo videos, I put a good quality Hawk scope on there. And I spent quite a lot of time getting the eye relief right. You have to have it quite high for a ball pop, in my understanding and experience. But when it was on there, I was able to use it with no problems at all. It was it was really fun and enjoyable to use. James at Crackshot actually sent me, and I'm going to put this on screen now for you, um, some test groups at 20 meters. Now Crackshot has a 20 meter range, and James is a very gifted sh shooter. So I'm just going to put that on the screen now. That's what. James is capable of using this gun. But what I thought I would do is I would show you what I'm capable of at 30 and 40 meters. So first of all, let's look at the 30 meter data. But here's the thing, I only use one type of pellet in this test. I was lucky enough to have some QIS pellets left over from my last test. And I thought, well, they were good in the Steyr. I'm gonna see if they're good in this gun. They are fantastic. And I felt no need to put any other pellets through. Let's look at the data at 30 meters and then we'll talk about it. So I'm going to do that up a couple of clicks. And I'm going to go for the bull again. A couple of, well, maybe two clicks. This is looking good. This is looking very good. I'll finish off the magazine. Uh, 
and I think it might need to go up a bit, but we can try that again in a second. So it's almost pellet on pellet sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Out. So what we're going to do. Okay, that to me, I'm very happy with that. That is really good. Very good, in fact, for a gun that's this affordable. But I think that just keeping it at 30 meters is not good enough. So let's gonna, we're gonna take it back now to 40 meters and we're gonna see how the gun groups at 40 meters. Let's have a look at that data now. I'm just doing this to let you all know um, rather than waste anything, um, I'm going to take it out to 40 meters, but I'm just putting these little plaster ones over there because the gun was actually so accurate at 30 meters, I didn't need to change the, the whole board. So I'm going to change that to 40 meters for this next bit, um, just so everyone knows, okay? Now that was looking like like a flyer.
there you have it. I'm not going to take it, out, take it out any further than that because I can see that the accuracy is beginning to suffer. I might, for example, if I found different pellets, be able to get it to group better at a longer distance, but for this video I'm just keeping it nice and simple. So the QAS 9.56 grain 177 pellets work extremely well through this gun. The gun has plenty of little rails on the side if you wanted to attach a, a, a you wouldn't attach a scope there you might want to attach a lamp and you might want to attach a bipod at the bottom this is an ideal gun for being out in the field not that i don't do that i'm just into target shooting but if you are into more sporting purposes this would be a fantastic investment from a charge of 200 bar you're gonna get maybe 60 to 70 shots when you go down to 100 that's a good night of shooting if you were so inclined any of these pre-owned guns from crack shop come with a six month warranty they also would be more than willing to ship the gun to wherever you are in the united kingdom via an rfd transfer so you've seen what this gun is capable of with me shooting and there's no reason why you guys couldn't do the same. For my money, and in my opinion, I think this would be a really good buy for someone. It's nice and short, it's nice and compact, it's very comfortable to hold, it's a little heavy. I wouldn't be very good off, not off a bipod. I wouldn't want to upload any evidence of me using this uh, offhand, but you might be different. One thing that I didn't mention is that I didn't do anything with the adjustable power wheel it has a little attenuation facility there where you can knock the power down i didn't test that i just kept it on maximum and had lots of fun give the boys at crack shop a call they'd be very happy to talk to you about this and i think that you'd be getting an exceptionally good value for money gun here and really I think the data shows that it does sort of at least hang and put up a fight against some of the far more expensive guns that we featured on the channel. So there you have it. The Kral Puncher Breaker. Bullpup in 177. Any comments and questions are welcome. And I will see you very soon in a future video. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.